For a lot of people that are interested into studying dentistry, the dental school is still in uncharted territory. There are so many questions out there. How is the day at a medical faculty? What's the best revision strategy? Or what the heck is a dental student carrying in his backpack? And as I am a fourth year international dental student in Romania, I will take you with me on my journey exploring the depth of my backpack. So stay till the end if you want to see all the cool gadgets and the weird things that are in there. So let's go! Salute and welcome to Romaniac. My name is David and today I'm gonna show you what I, as a dental student in Romania, carry in my backpack. So if you are interested in some of the things, all the links will be down in the description below. And also give this video a like if you enjoy watching it and also subscribe to our channel if you want to see further content about our studies here in Romania and also about Romania as a country. This is a bit weird for me, I never did something like this. It feels a bit like an unboxing, but it's, of course, it's not an unboxing. We had a person actually giving us this idea and that's why we thought it's worth it making a video about it. So this is actually a backpack for professional videographers. I just got it because it's good quality, it's waterproof. I'm also a passionate skier and I can also use it for that. And I need a big backpack, you will see why. Let's start. So let's show you guys my first thing, which is my wallet. Yeah, it's a special wallet, it was a present and I just love it. Which is my driving license with my old haircut and me as a baby boy. Yeah, this is so old, this picture. Nice. Yeah, let's go to the next thing, my passport, which is Romanian. Let's stop and explain this at this point that yeah, it's my German passport actually. And I'm a huge fan of Romania. I bought this in Brasov, the case. I always wear this even when I'm flying. I mean, some policemen are confused at the border, but I don't care, it's a case. I can have whatever I want around it. Now, ooh, something very important. Should be in everyone's backpack, especially as a student. And that are playing cards. Yeah, why playing cards? These are actually Bavarian playing cards. Ah, I, don't, I don't know how to translate this stuff, so I will not make a fool out of me. But playing cards, if you have some time, a small break with the guys in uni. Actually in uni we not do that often, mostly with friends somewhere else, but it, it's something very cool. So, let's come to the next kind of gadget, which is a lighter. Yeah, the question is allowed why it's with a Swiss flag on it. I think it just looks cool and I, I bought it in Switzerland. I'm out of benzene. <laughs> I'm a non-smoker, just to mention that. Can be pretty useful. You know, if you have those bands around something and you would just want to burn the end, you should have a lighter. Buy a lighter. The next thing that I have inside is a travel toothbrush. Why the hell do I always have this with me? You maybe have a late flight and you don't feel that clean and you want to brush your teeth. This is very cool. Next, we have my praying book and my rosary. Uh, why do I carry this with me? Because I grew up in a very Catholic family. I'm a Christian and uh, this is very important um, for me if I'm in a very, let's say, sad situation or in a very happy situation and I'm very thankful. I can do my prayers. I always want to carry this with me. So next, we have multiple things. Scrubs. Usually I always have one uh, of these inside my backpack 
in the case that we have a lab uh, very spontaneously or the opportunity to go and watch some operations, then with it I have the surgeon hat. I think it is practical and it is best to not contaminate something. And also if you have a bad hair day, we guys know that, wearing our caps, that's how it looks when it's on. I will not wear these because they look so fucking stupid over my glasses, it's insane. These bad boys yeah when we were working in the laboratory or if we are working with some dangerous substances like now in endodontics where we use sodium hypochlorite for example which yeah shouldn't be in your eyes or on your face at least but yeah the eyes are safe what is also very important which i just carry because of university is deodorant I don't want to treat a patient and uh, smell like, yeah, it's, <laughs> it's really worse because you will bend over him, reach to some instruments and stuff and I think that would be disgusting if you would, uh, yeah, if you had been somewhere else before and you don't have this with you. Another thing I just carry with me right now because of our endo lab, actual real teeth of patients that have been extracted. <laughs> This is the glass, it's actually for urine normally, we bought this in the pharmacy. There you see some good looking teeth inside. So if you also want to study dentistry or medicine, but you can't find a place, yes we know it's pretty hard to find one, then just fill out one of the forms on our website, the link is down in the description below or just message us on Instagram and we can answer all your questions and we can help you get a place to study in Romania. So they are freshly extracted. It's always so funny because when we watch your extraction in a different subject and us as students from the fourth year, we are always like vultures just looking at the teeth and you just watch your colleagues like who's doing the first move and then you're just like, oh yeah, could I have the teeth afterwards? And everyone else is like, F you, man. What do we have here? Um, some dental burrs. Yeah, sometimes if yeah, some birds are missing because we are a big group of students that are working with the same bird, then I want to be able to work on. And that's why I just brought my own ones. I think it was a pretty good idea. And actually all the people are always stealing the birds. For two seconds, if you're looking somewhere, you turn around, everything is gone. You're just like, who the hell took all my stuff? So get your own things, it's better, <laughs> trust me. This is so cool. And this is my dental book. It's, it's, a, it's a small book which is actually containing the most important things about dentistry, like everything. Everything is inside, it's, that's why it's also uh, printed that small. And it's so expensive, it's in retail like 100 euros. Yeah, another thing I sometimes carry with me is a vlog camera. This one, you can actually flip this screen around. It's the Canon G7X. You can record like this, small clip, or just place it when we film a, a vlog, for example. So now, oh my goodness, AirPods Pro. A friend of us bought these and we tried them. I was like, oh my goodness, the noise cancelling and everything. I need those. I can tell you this was the best decision ever. Have a look here. I have a laptop case and what's inside. It's a MacBook Pro. Someone asked us uh, which laptop we are using for editing. This one is the 2020 MacBook with the uh, Intel i5 processor and I think 16 gigabytes of RAM just for the ones who are interested. I don't try to flex here, it's I think not even crazy. It's a normal one. Yeah, why the sticker actually? It's a famous flower, which is actually the sign of the Alps. 
the mountains, um, the region where I'm from. So I saw the sticker and I was like, yeah, I want to have that on my neck. Okay, this brings us to the last item, a watch. It's the Rolex, no, I'm joking. <laughs> really not an expensive watch. It was a present from my grandparents to my father, beginning of his studies, and he gave it to me when I started my studies, and I'm actually just very proud on it. And um, yeah, I'm a, I'm a big fan of those kind of things. For me, it's never about the, the actual value. It's more the sentiment that uh, things carry with them. This was a tour into the depth of my backpack and give this video a like if you enjoyed watching it and also subscribe to our channel trust me trust me so nice videos are going to come we have so good ideas we have new gear we have microphones we have a new camera and you don't want to miss out on that so subscribe if you want to see more i hope you guys had at least as much fun as i had today see you guys next time la revedere and ciao